Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. The nature of the final battle. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Jeremiah 50 verse 25. At his own will, God summons the forces of nature to overthrow the might of his enemies. Fire and hail, snow and vapours, stormy winds fulfilling his word. Psalms 148 verse 8. When the heathen Amorites had set themselves to resist his purposes, God interposed, casting down great stones from heaven upon the enemies of Israel. We are told of a greater battle to take place in the closing scenes of earth's history, when Jehovah hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Jeremiah 50 verse 25 Has thou, he inquires, entered into the treasures of the snow? Or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail, which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? Job 38 verse 22 and 23 The Revelator describes the destruction that is to take place when the great voice out of the temple of heaven announces, It is done, he says. There fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. Revelation 16, verse 17 and 21. In the last scenes of this earth's history, war will rage. The powers of evil will not yield up the conflict without a struggle. But providence has a part to act in the battle of Armageddon. The captain of the Lord's hosts will stand at the head of the angels of heaven to direct the battle. He on whose vesture is written the name King of Kings and Lord of Lords, leads forth the armies of heaven on white horses, clothed in fine linen, clean and white. When he shall come to the earth again, he will shake not the earth only, but also heaven. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunken, and shall be removed like a cottage. The heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel.